What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this classic right here. This is kind of a bittersweet day for me because when this came in, Junior sent me the pictures of it uh, and he was going to post it up for sale. I said, don't put it up for sale. That was a couple months ago. I said, I want to ride this thing this summer. I've been uh, watching Billy Blythe for the last 10 years, having a blast on his ZRX 1200. We'll let him uh, tell you a little about, a bit about his experience. But for me, totally uh, nostalgic look to this bike harkens back to the Eddie Lawson days, uh, the, the metallic green, blue and white paint job the racing livery is very similar to, to what they had on the track back then this one is all original has original factory Kiaba shocks on the back if you could zoom in on those Kenny and show them how trick those shocks are the uh, looks like it's Cerakoted but it's the factory original coating on the top of the heads the engine sides the swing arm has a really unique factory look to it this bike is absolutely outstanding it only has 5,000 miles on it it has the might muzzy carbon fiber and stainless steel full exhaust system not just a slip on and it is absolutely beautiful the tokiko massive floating front calipers the uh, gold handlebars the sport tires it's a liquid cool four cylinder 1200 cc absolute ripper the badges on it have a gold plating on them also which is just absolutely stunning so for me cosmetically uh, it's easy to get excited about this bike and as far as performance wise billy Tell us about your experience. I know you and Jill have been all over the country on yours, and how many miles and how long have you had yours? Oh yeah, yeah, I've had mine for a number of years, probably almost 10 years now, and the thing is uh, bulletproof, rock solid, steady, uh, the handles, it doesn't do anything wrong. This motorcycle does everything right. And uh, mine's an 1100, the 1200 is just uh, a natural progression of things for Kawasaki. They brace the swing arm on this model, so this has got a super, uh, it's a super bike swing arm, basically, with the, the lower brace on it. And, um, you know, it, it, so it's a natural upgrade for this bike to have that, uh, but they really stayed pretty much with the 1100 format, the platform for this. Um, but this, uh, you know, I, Jill and I put probably 30,000 miles on my ZRX Kent. Riding double 30, up. Yeah, yeah, riding two up. And uh, we actually hopped on the bike in Connecticut, drove the 1200 miles to Daytona one year uh, in the winter. You know, it, we left, it was 32 degrees, and Jill hopped on the back, and we, we drove all the way down there. and. Um, it never skipped a beat. It ran perfectly. It, uh, it hauled us down the road. It, you, you had to stay about 80 miles an hour to stay with traffic. I got passed by a minivan going 100. So yeah, we've got over 60,000 miles on my one ZRX. 60,000 miles. Yeah, 60,000 miles. And mostly when I bought two them, up. Yeah, mostly two up. In fact, almost all two up. I What's the fastest you've got? I know, now, now guys, yeah. you may not have seen the other vi the video. Yeah. That's Bill's TZ750 factory four-cylinder road racer. He's a five-time Isle of Man. Uh, survivor and yeah. uh, racer. He also got I married guess you call over it a there. veteran, right? Yes, veteran. Uh, I call it a survivor. Now, his wife, Jill, is um, a huge enthusiast of the Isle of Man. She got married there with Billy. He had done laps around the Isle of Man at 120 miles per hour. Was it, was it the average or was it the top speed with Jill on there? Actually, we were on the street with the roads open in the Isle of Man going 120 miles an hour. But on this... With, with Jill on the back. Let me iterate. With his wife on the back. <laughs> but that was on a 600. Over here in America, we had my ZRX 11 going, uh, I hate to say this, 140 miles an hour. Billy. I saw it on the... <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. And Jill was hanging on for dear life on the back, just riding away. Uh, let me just say something, okay? I've been racing bikes my whole life. Yep. The fastest I've ever been on a street bike was 145 on a Ducati. And that was, that was one up. And, and I thought I was... Yeah. I thought it was something. You're doing it two up. That's pretty cool. You got to really be trying to go that fast, and, and it's really an absolute no no to do it. But uh, I'm an expert road racer, and blah, blah, blah. I'm the greatest guy on the planet. It's not something you ever want to try, and I probably would never do it again. Not, not, not advisable, not at all. But we did it. Guys, the fit and finish on this bike is absolutely fantastic. Look at the, the, the gauges on it. Now, this is a 2005 model. It's 17 years old. When I saw the photos, it looked brand new. There's virtually no cosmetic uh, degradation from patina or rust. Uh, the paint job shows like brand new. Sadly, and I didn't know this until I, uh, until I saw it in person, the gas tank's got a, a ding right here, a ding right here, a ding right here, and a ding right here. So it got dinged up in the garage where it was stored, but as far as the fit and finish goes, the gold finish on the badges, the, the original upholstery, the, the chrome, the, um, the windshield, the gauges look like they just came out of a box, so out of a time capsule. Billy's got 60,000 on his. Billy has 60,000. Yes. Now, let, let's just say they weren't easy Sunday uh, ride uh, <laughs> miles. This guy's hard an miles. A, AMA <laughs> uh, champion road racer, AMA yeah. national champion road racer. So this one's a virgin. This one is like barely broken in. 
Right, and if you look at those gold parts you're talking about, Ken, like these, these badges, they tend to degrade when they get exposed to sunlight, and the side badges as well. So it shows that the bike has been stored indoors. It's been very well cared for. Um, this is an, a, really an exceptional piece. A lot of the guys would take in the back here, they'd cut off the fender to make it look more sporty. This has been left alone. The only upgrade that I see on this bike is the Muzzy full system, and that is a proper, correct upgrade for this bike. Muzzy system is second to none. Uh, uh, the Muzzy team are Kawasaki experts, so they built this, this pipe just for this bike and it's mint. It are these goes, original bar end mirrors? mirrors? No, they're not. I believe this bike came with uh, screw in mirrors here. Okay, so, so this is an upgrade along with the grips probably? Yeah. Are, the, kinda, this, are these original handlebars? I think they are. I think they are too, because it has a coating that matches the top of the fork tubes. Everywhere you look, there's special coatings on this bike to make it look like a factory race bike. The full floating front rotors have a gold center. There's gold handlebars. There's gold fork tops. It's got the gold badges, the gold, Sarah coating on the cylinder and the engine I mentioned earlier. Massive radiator on the front. Massive radiator, so it runs cool. Uh, big giant disc brakes all the way around. Chain drive, it is the, the um, consummate sport bike. Now, it is a sport bike, but the seating position, as you can see, the pegs are directly underneath you and the bars are pretty high up. So you can sit in a nice neutral position and ride this thing all day, evidenced by Billy riding 1,200 miles in the winter down to Daytona. So. Guys, there's not a lot of these left in mint condition. The only thing this thing needs is a repair, the cosmetic repairs in the tank, or you can leave it the way it is and run it forever like Billy did. If you want to make it a museum piece, have a world-class body shop. The paint's available from Colorite and a couple other companies. You can get the actual color paint and have the tank repaired or have a dent magician service it. But either way, this is becoming extremely hard to find. If you want a fun bike that you can ride all day long, that turns heads everywhere you go, that you're not going to confused for the next guy's bike when you pull in the parking lot <laughs> buy this bike this is a world-class piece it's been completely serviced we've got the title in hand here it's a stunning low mileage survivor looks runs and sounds like a brand new motorcycle it's been adult owned and extraordinarily well preserved and stored indoors in a climate controlled environment bulletproof 1200 cc power plant it has the four constant velocity cane carbs for performance and precise fuel delivery and economy Top level throttle response, it has 111 rear wheel horsepower at 8,500 RPM. Guys, this thing will do 147 mile per hour top speed, verified by Bill Blight doing 145 <laughs> with a passenger. <laughs> with super sturdy frame, race spread handling and performance, excellent brakes front and rear, super comfy ride at 489 pounds dry weight, very light for a bike of this capacity. Very robustly built, very versatile. It's great for road, or you could take it on a careful track day. So we've got the video here. Uh, check out the, the photo shoot. Zoom in on it. If you have any questions, call us, 860-454-7024. Uh, we've invested extra time and effort in this bike. Uh, it's been completely serviced. It has new NGK spark plugs, a new UASA battery. We also put a new battery tender lead, so when you get it home, all you do is plug it into the wall with your battery tender and keep the battery charge till spring. The fuel tank was removed and thoroughly cleaned, not only on the outside, but the inside. The inside of the tank is, is minty clean. We drained and inspected the carbs. Uh, they're in mint condition. The uh, Canaan air filter on it has just been oiled. It's in brand new condition. It has three gallons of VP 110 non-ethanol fuel in it. It's got new engine oil. The front and rear tire pressure is set at 36 PSI. All lights, all gauges are inspected and working. We demonstrated that in the video. It's 100% electrically, 100% mechanically, and it's a 95% cosmetically. The only issues are those dings in the tank we showed. All lights and gauges work beautifully. The bike runs like an absolute rape tape. Sadly, uh, take a look outside. It is snowing out, so we, we got some dirt bike hole shot videos, but this thing is not going to touch the road. It's never been in the road uh, in, in the snow or salt. And guys, where are you going to find another 17-year-old ZRX 1200R with 5,000 miles on it? You're going to find it here at the New England Motorcycle Museum at Kaplan Cycles. And how does this happen? How do we come up with so many mint, low running, uh, low mileage bikes? Look outside. We only have five months out of the year. Uh, and of those five months, it probably rains two and two it's cloudy. So you get like a month of, of yeah. premier. Honestly, you get about 30 pristine riding days a year here in New England. That's why these bikes have so low, low miles and they're all stored indoors because we can't leave them outside. One, they'll get stolen and two, they'll degrade cosmetically. This was in the guy's living room. That's why it has no rust or degradation or issues for moisture. It's in absolutely mint condition. So the, uh, the um, bike was steam cleaned, hand washed, 
The paint was buffed, whacked, and then waxed, and it had a full rotisserie detail. What does that mean? Well, look at the bottom of the engine, Kenny. Look at the bottom of the swing arm. From the bottom up, this bike's been thoroughly cleaned. Generally, the guys will spend a full eight-hour day on a bike like this professionally with the best tools on a lift, with proper lighting and all the right chemicals, massaging a bike like this. to It's ready to roll into the museum. So, guys, this is a bike I absolutely am in love with. I wish we didn't have to sell it. I pointed out the dings on the gas tank. We just noticed there's a little crack in the back fin right here, um, which, which again, when you have the gas tank repaired, this could be repaired also. Billy, is there anything you'd like to add about this bike or anything you, you saw? Yeah, a couple small details. One is the windshields on these bikes, if they're given any kind of a wipe down when they're not in, you know, ready for that wipe down, they'll get scratches. This windshield is OEM and perfect as close to perfect as it could be. A lot of people put on aftermarket ones, and you know, they're really good, but this is OEM. They only make one OEM one, and I don't believe these are available anymore. It looks brand new. Yeah, another thing is this bike, I believe, was a, the product of a extra parts that Kawasaki had around, and they did not anticipate the demand that there would be for this bike. The 1200 is the evolution of that bike, the 1100, and uh, the spare parts that they had on hand, they started manufacturing them again. They start, they upgraded the 1100 with the big swing arm and other cycle parts that make it the 1200. This is a cult classic, the epitome of, of Kawasaki's uh, development of this bike. Just a magnificent motorcycle. And all around the world, these are highly regarded as a great motorcycle. Billy, would you do the honors for us and uh, ride it into the museum? Oh, absolutely. One, one final ride before uh, it goes to its new home? No snow riding today. No, it's not going in the snow. All right. Very few people put 60,000 miles on a bike. That only happens on kick-ass motorcycles. And Billy can ride whatever he wants. He has his own museum at his house. He's got a lot of bikes. He rode this bike. Oh, yeah. Whatever you said, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> 60,000 miles on the same exact, actually the 1100, the, the prior year model, but his bike looks identical to this. Yeah, this bike fits like a glove. I mean, the handlebar position is proper. Uh, you know, the seating position for me is right. I don't like to have all my weight on my butt and have my hands up in the air. I like to have a little bit of weight forward. It takes. It, it makes riding easier when you're up to speed. So this is exactly the right position of riding for me. I would take this bike to the racetrack today. It's there awesome. It. Yep. There you have it. God bless America.